Hello everyone and welcome to the Gunning Gallade. A bit of a Ultra Prism opening. Sure, why not? I decided that I would go to EV Games, which is quite a common store around here that sells video games, and I decided to, well, invest in these blister packs, which are just a little bit pricier, but uh, in turn, I got hooked up with this Ultra Prism Cosmo Hollow of Heatran, which I thought I'd add to my Sun and Moon collection, and also there is this um, Pokemon movie, I Choose You. There are three cards that come in this. I didn't, e I didn't even know it existed, so um, I decided to grab that, and why don't we save that for the very end? But in the meantime, let's go see if we can get that Umbreon Full Art. Now, I've been playing a bit of Pokemon Go recently, and I have a bit of a story I'd like to share with you. Uh, it was kind of crazy because I took a bit of a different route home, and I was walking uh, by a church, and I saw that there was a clay doll raid, and I decided to partake, and I was waiting in the in the lobby, so to speak, or I was about to throw my raid pass in, and hold on a second, Palpad Volkner Reverse Hollow, and the rare is a Hippowdon. Okay, so not that crazy of a reaction, but... So anyways, I was about to put my raid pass in, and all of a sudden this lady approached me, and mind you, I was, I was by a church, and she said, excuse me, are you, are, you playing, are you playing Pokemon? Are you playing Pokemon Go? And it was so odd because I actually thought that I was in trouble. I was like, am I, am I doing something I shouldn't be doing? But I was like, whatever. Yes, yes, I am. And she said, oh, okay, let's let's take down this, this raid boss. And I thought to myself, are you serious? And we took down this, um, we took down the clay doll. And I thought it was, it kind of blew my mind how many people actually continue playing and have fun with it. I don't know. It's I, I do too. I mean, I... The reason why that I'm playing Pokemon Go is that I I find that I'm discovering a lot of landmarks around Toronto, uh, the city that I'm from, that I'm just really unfamiliar with. So, for example, I have, um, I mean, I, I found all these statues from, from days gone by that I'd never been really familiar with, and all of a sudden I'm thinking, I should know about this. Look at this licket. Lick a tongue. Anyways, but that's that's what I really like about the game. I really like that Niantic chose to to have those certain parts of town or, or certain landmarks that you pass by every day and you don't even realize. Oh, Lopini, I was laughing about this last time. And the rare is a Lucario. Nice. But like I was saying, that I like that I'm discovering things about my city that I had been pretty unconscious of. There's... What is it? I, I passed by the hand. If there are any Toronto Pokemon Go players, uh, please uh, let me know if you know where the hand is. Or there's the the smiling cats in Kensington Market. You know, and it's and I just I would have never really noticed it otherwise. And and I think that's one of the reasons why I kind of enjoy my reinvigorated uh, association with Pokemon Go. Cynthia, nice. This is a great trainer to have without a doubt. Skun Tank. Floatzel. Nice. Roselia is the un, uh, is the common reverse hollow, and the rare is a Magirna by Kawaiu, and the artwork there is pretty awesome without a doubt. As you can tell, these packs, these blisters are just a, well, they're a bit pricier than the, um, than the usual packs that we're used to getting, but I decided that I would, you know, try my luck. So, anyways, here we go. Last pack. Hopefully, we can get something good out of here. Okay, so we have a Gibble starting us off. Murkrow. I actually like that artwork. Snover. Oops, I got a little excited. Piplup. Cheruby. Fire Energy. I think I'm seeing something shiny back there. Honchcrow. Mount Coronet. Turdinator. Ooh, nice! It's a Giratina Prism. So clearly, and it's funny because that pack was... The pack that I was considering not taking. So we have a Giratina, Giratina Prism. And the rare is a Silvalli GX. So the best pack for last. Usually I say save the best pack for last. And indeed I did. All right. Well, let's see what's here in this Pokemon. The movie I Choose You. Now, 
I'm working on getting my hands on the Ultra Prism Booster Box, but first I think I'm 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 thinking of getting the Shining Legends box. Uh, it's the one with the the Rainbow Rare Ho. -Oh. If you think this is something worth getting, why don't you let me know? All right. So the first pack or the first card we have here is. <gasps> It's Ashes Pikachu. Okay, that's pretty cute. I uh, I think this is kind of rare. This is this is one of those things that will be difficult to acquire someday. All right, the next card is. It's also Ash. Okay, so I think. Okay, so Ashes Pikachu. This is probably. Let me guess. The last card is. Another Ashes Pikachu. Okay, so we have. Three Ashes Pikachus, and two of them are the same. And, well, I think these are going to be cards that are a little bit rare, so I think I'm going to hold on to them. And even though they're not hollow, but what does it say? Pokemon the movie I Choose You. Pokemon the movie I Choose You is an origin story highlighting Ash and Pikachu's first meeting and their adventures as they search for the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh. The iconic pair... Encounter familiar faces along the way, new characters including trainers, Verity and Sorel, and even a mysterious new mythical Pokemon, Marshadow. Well, I think I should go and watch this movie. I like this. I like this card quite a bit, and I appreciate um, all the good stuff. So, anyways, uh, why don't we take a look at what I enjoyed from these pulls? Uh, but first off, I will do something that I know a lot of you enjoy, and that is to release the code cards from these packs. So here you go. Code card one, two, and I'm just tossing them over my shoulder so nonchalantly as I do so. If you get any good pulls, why don't you leave a comment down below? You know I appreciate it all the time every time so here we go we have murkrow i thought this artwork was pretty cool look at that murkrow pretty pretty intense it's so funny because in pokemon go i'm like preparing for gen 4 so i'm stocking up on all those murkrow candies all right magirna look at that i gotta fix the focus because it's worth it kawaii is quite impressive cynthia of course the valuable trainer Passimian, i appreciated that another kawaii artwork execute another kawaii artwork Where's Takia at? But Misuhiro Arita is quite impressive as well with this Lucario Hollow Lickitung. I thought it was quite funny. And then we have Diglett. Not a Pokemon that a lot of people love, but I decided that, you know what? I kind of like it. Snover. It's pretty happy. Hippowdon, non hollow. And then I have Giratina Prism and Silvalli GX. Uh, definitely two cards that I will add to my. My own little best of Sun and Moon after Guardians Rising and Sun and Moon Binder. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more. And without a doubt, please subscribe. Leave a comment down at the bottom. I think if you subscribe, you can hit that button there or watch the next video somewhere around there. So thank you for watching. Find more on Gunning Gallade on Instagram. And stay tuned for more coming at you in the next video. Bye for now.